like always this shirt's kind of a hint as to who I got to meet today and he is a member of the New Day um, he was here at a meet and greet for Cricket Wireless um, because they're here for Smackdown in Arizona and it is Kofi Kingston I was able to meet him and he was able to sign this pop my goal is to one day get the other two members of New Day to, to sign this one too. Um, it's a lot of glare, sorry. Um, even inscribed it New Day Rocks. Um, he almost wrote an M instead of an N, um, but I feel that still kind of makes it a bit more unique <laughs> and that he messed it up a little bit, but I really like the way the blue pops. I would like to get this one um, signed by Xavier in pink and then maybe Big E in yellow one of these days and complete this uh, piece so that way um, it would look really cool to have that and it's the FYE exclusive and I'll put more um, better video that's not as much glare and stuff so you can see the signature better. Nice to meet you too. Good? Good. 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 Thank you. And that was some video of this signing uh, event. And here's a better look at the actual signature indoors. I went with the blue paint pen for Kofi. I did take a pink one with me just in case Xavier was there. Sometimes they tend to travel together at events. And there's the inscription where like you could tell that he wrote an M and then scribbled it out because, you know, we all got brain farts sometimes. It's all good. Uh, it just makes it for a unique piece. It's in my collection, and I know uh, the story behind it all, so that makes it more special. And this is the FYE exclusive uh, New Day. And then later on, I was able to see them at SmackDown. Not really in a match, because it was kind of more of a confrontation with the Viking Raiders. Um, and if you watch the latest episode, um, they got kind of squashed pretty much. Uh, but it'll probably lead to something, so it's all good. They were still entertaining um, to watch. Um, and I had a good time at SmackDown. Not only because of this, but, you know, I had pretty decent seats. I looked at it, especially when you're in going to an event by yourself, you can sometimes find pretty good seats. Um, able to see all these guys this up close um, the ladder everything getting in motion for money in the bank and here is Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss two of my favorite WWE superstars and I just kept thinking like oh I hope Liv comes by close i'd like to get like a selfie or something like on the side um but it, it it didn't happen but there was a lot of good uh moments i think this was a fun match uh this three on three uh smackdown versus raw and it's gonna be interesting to see who wins money in the bank i love you will I'd be happy with Alexa or Liv winning it. Liv specifically because she hasn't had a title run yet and I think she deserves either a Rumble win or a uh, Money in the Bank. So it's just yelling at her that we love her. Um, this action I was in, we're big fans. I think a lot of people are big fans of um, Liv Morgan. Super sweet, athletic. A great unique style character and here's Raquel Gonzalez uh, Rodriguez formerly Reina back in the NXT days I got to meet her too way back in the day I'm a fan of her she's a powerhouse um, type wrestler sweet person as well let's see there Alexa kind of mocking her uh, this is good just the contrast in sizes you would think oh it wouldn't be interesting uh, square off, but it was. They both kind of are great at what they do, and a lot of the fans were entertained by this. It was a fun match.
I liked it. So following this match, you know, my girls, of course, they they won. Um, but following this match, uh, then Becky kind of attacked Asuka. Um, I went walking around uh, downtown or outside of downtown to this uh, place that does sub sandwiches called Jeeba Hut. I know there's a couple in a couple different states. Um, it was about two less than two miles out from the arena, just because I don't like to sometimes get Ubers back um, in a super uh, populated area because it's always a pain in the butt for them to find you and then sometimes there's a surge price for that. So I figured I'd walk a couple miles, uh, get something to eat, and then to get an Uber from the sub shop. I got my sandwich, I'm waiting to kind of dial up the Uber, and then you won't imagine who I see walk in. It is the stunning, beautiful Liv Morgan and Sonya, who's also strikingly beautiful too, but I'm a big Liv fan, so when she walked in, I was like, oh my God, like, this is what I've been wanting. I've been wanting to meet her. I've been wanting to get a picture with her. And I asked her for a picture right before she was about to order, and she was super sweet about it, and I wished her good luck on Money in the Bank. Good luck on the Money in the Bank uh, Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. Even though I confused the day um, Sunday or Saturday, I'm still mentally used to pay-per-views being on Sunday, not Saturday. And then I was also able to meet um, Samantha Irvin, a beautiful woman, talented singer, great announcer, uh, super nice. So overall, I had a good time, and this kind of just wraps up the blog of all of the WWE events here in Phoenix uh, revolving around SmackDown and Money in the Bank, which will be in Las Vegas.